when the pandemic hit, it put a, a spotlight on the inequities that exist within the African-American community. We're in a moment now that I think is very, very significant. Phillips has an ambition of improving lives of 2.5 billion people by 2030, inclusive of 400 million people in underserved communities. Some ways that we can promote health equity is looking at every facet of the issue, starting with research, advanced development in research, and it can happen in the universities. There are 106 historically black colleges and universities in the country. That represents 3% of all colleges and universities. But disproportionately, there's less funding going to HBCUs in research. We could start there by increasing research on key topics that could ultimately impact health outcomes. HBCUs are uniquely positioned to drive toward health equity. 80% of black dentists and doctors were trained at an HBCU. So in addition to the communities they come from, the fact that they understand disparities in a real way, we believe make them even more qualified and uniquely positioned. Dr. N. Joyce Payne, uh, Center for Social Justice was created at the Thurgood Marshall College Fund with the sole purpose to focus in on research on our campuses and use that research from our faculty to impact policy. We also know that the black colleges are playing a central role in uh, providing services through extension, through research, and through education to the communities. It's so important for a company like Philips, a progressive company that's been in the business for 131 years, has a reputation of being one of the best in class in the nation or in the world. And so it's extremely important that we find a way to work together. Thurgood Marshall College Fund is a wonderful opportunity to partner because they are focused on scholarship research opportunities, capacity building, innovative problem solving uh, through student education and collaboration with strategic partners, placing students at historically black colleges and then driving innovative programs to lift the overall competitive landscape within the U.S. of African American talent and as well as solving major problems in underrepresented communities. I am extremely optimistic when I look at the talent we're producing at our universities. I'm extremely optimistic when we bring progressive corporations like Phillips to the table where we can work together. Uh, it's essential that we understand the power of collaboration. It's in our DNA. It's obviously in Phillips' DNA.